so I'm going to start off. Um, first of all, we've got a different philosophy at Smart House. We think it's not just about green, it's about helping people. By focusing on people, developing technologies and designs that work for people, you're going to deal with sustainability in that. We do have to build things sustainably. So that's why our tagline at Drexel Smart House is better living through smart design and technology. We're trying to do really simple things sometimes, sometimes complicated things, but we're trying to focus on solving problems that affect people in their daily lives. So this is the location of uh, our future smart house. Right now it's actually really junky. It's an old fraternity house and they didn't leave it in such great condition. Um, but it's right here at the corner of 35th and Ray Street. Sorry? Uh, yeah, Pine Lamb. Uh, <laughs> not anymore. But what we're trying to build here is a platform for innovation. We're creating a program, not just a house, but also a program for students to try out new technology, new design, inside of a place where 10 students will be living. So they're actually interacting with it on a day-to-day -day basis. So in order to do that, we've actually designed a really flexible system so that the house is completely modular and we can reconfigure the floor plan and install new technologies in a matter of a few hours. And that's what you see behind us. Um, it's actually a sponsored research project. We're doing it right now. It's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so we divided this into five different research categories. The first is energy. And so our goal with energy is to create more than we use. So we actually want to create energy on site and then do some things passively to save energy in the process. We'd love to try and get technology so you actually are making more energy than you're using. The next one is the environment. And this is about respecting the planet. We need to design in such a way that it's cradle to cradle, that we're using our resources efficiently, that we're not actually using more than is being produced in the world's natural ecosystem. The next one is health, and this is fantastic. Our goal here is to create an environment where we can maintain a state of well-being. We want to make people be healthier. We want to help a system in that so you're dealing with problems before they occur. The next one is smart interaction. In this area here, uh, we're basically trying to make technology accessible. Our goal is to get rid of user manuals. If you have good interface design, you should be able to step into something and use it, whether it's a computer or, or a coffee maker or whatever. Our goal is just make it completely accessible. The last one is lifestyle. This is kind of a catch-all, but our goal here is just overarching over everything that we do, improving the quality of daily life. It's a very simple mission for us, but we want to do things that affect everybody and try and solve these little problems for them. So this is not what we are. We are not trying to create a highly automated over blah, excuse me. Um, we don't want to be Wally because everybody's seen the problems that result from that, from, uh, from that movie. But here are some of the things that we do do. Uh, one of the programs that we, ha one of the projects we have actually is we're using glass hollow microspheres to make a new paint that helps um, keep the house cooler inside. So we're using a passive system to actually reduce the energy load that we have for our HVAC systems. Uh, that's air conditioning. Um, the, the other thing that one of the other projects we're trying to do is actually create an open source format for nutritional information. So you can go to a restaurant, download it onto your cell phone, have them email it to you, pull it out of your refrigerator, eat something there, you know what it is, and then also incorporate your uh, daily routines and your exercise habits. The thing you see behind me is actually a mock-up. We're not here yet, but we're trying to create a really, um, a really good environment for data portability so that you can pull up a newspaper when you're sitting down at your um, eating breakfast or you can pull up your files basically anywhere throughout the house. This is an illustration of a technology that we've created that is a um, an LED lighting fixture that simulates sunlight in order to help moderate people's circadian rhythm. So we're trying to help people with a seasonal affective disorder and many other issues. It, you should be a lot happier under these lights. The key thing with this is integration. These systems are all going to be integrated into one single house. The, there's a big program, but the house is the centerpiece. What we do is we test these things out in the house so that we know that they really work with the people and with each other. So we'll actually be running some some uh, studies to see if it's effective on, for people. The other thing that I want to talk about tonight is we're working on the de working on all the details now, but this is a great platform for a lot of people, and we want to open it up to just to more than just Drexel students. I know there's a lot of hackers here, so if you're interested in working with us, let us know. So the future of smart is very bright. We want to take this concept and, and move it out beyond Drexel. We have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that I think we can do, but we want to encourage people to focus on making technology and design more accessible and making it work for people. What you see here is a little preview of what our house is actually going to look like. We ran a design competition where we had a bunch of architects, engineers, and more compete. We can't show you the, final, the entire final design. We'll be announcing it in November, but this is our cool outdoor indoor room that we'll have. So thank you very much. That went super fast, but um, if you have any questions or want to talk to me, just uh, come up. Thanks.